Hello, Hazefest here. This is going to be a video on showcasing some tips and tricks for Atlas and Dark Age of Camelot that you probably didn't know about, where to find some useful information and tools that you might find uh, useful to you or your guild or someone that you know. Hopefully you'll learn something. Let's get to it. This is going to be a situation where Peter Regeneration could save your life. So I'm playing a hardcore character that gets deleted once it dies. So I go and attack this yellow with my nightshade and I pull a second add. So in order to survive I have to pop my Peter Regeneration. The regeneration is going to tick every 14 seconds in combat. So you can see how I get low and then the heal saves me. I continue fighting this other yellow and with a little bit of luck I'm able to survive both of the attackers. This can be used in combat as long as you sheath your weapons first, and you can use the beat of regeneration from 1 to 49, not at 50. And you can use it in RVR as well as PvE. You can use the following macro, slash salvage, 1 through 4, which is bag 1 through 4, Q99, which is the quality of the weapons, it will salvage anything less than or equal to 99. You can see here, I have a few items, and then I have a 100 quality field. I hit my macro, I begin salvaging. There goes the gloves, there goes the rapier, and you can see that it does not break down the shield. If you do not put Q99 in the macro, you can put it anywhere in the macro, but if you forget Q99, it will salvage your masterpiece items. The backslash XP stats verbose macro will give you extremely detailed information about your experience. It'll tell you the percentage of cap that you're getting. You always want this to be 100%. It'll show you what your cap is in numerical value. It'll show you the basic speed you're getting from the kills. It'll tell you how much you are progressing your current level. It'll tell you the number of kills it will take to reach the next level. And then it'll give you a breakdown of your Atlas bonus, your camp bonus, and your loyalty bonus. Let's go over a couple tips you probably don't know about. Official webpage of the Atlas Free Shard. You can go to Tools. You can go to XP Items Map. This will take you to an interactive map, which will show you all of the XP item drops and where they're at. If you click on any of these uh, icons, it'll bring up just that token, and it'll show you all the places you can collect that token, as well as where you can turn it in with a yellow ping. So you can collect it from these two areas, and then you can turn it in here. This has information for all three realms as well. Another excellent thing you can do is go to Tools, Dayak Tools. This will take you to a website. It brings you up the countdown timer, but at the top left, there's Cast Speed, Archery, Weapon Speed, Evade, Offhand Attack Chance, and then there's a Herald. So you have all those attack speed and defensive calculators. And then you also have the Herald, which is an interactive Herald, similar to the one that Atlas already has on the Discord. But it also, it um, has a war map at the top. This was created by Jabster, this whole tools section. He's done a great job here. The war map is the slash RW realm war map. This is the most interactive map we can get. We can't get this in game because of the server limitations. I think the dev team would have to figure out a way to code from new frontier keeps and tower placements to this old frontier keep setup. Currently, no UI has the capability to do this and I've messed around in a Dayok UI editor and I am unable to do it. I can simulate the layout of the maps, but I can't get it to show your location 
and I can't get it to show the correct heat locations because all that's server side. Another good thing in the tools here is the character builder. It's not completely up to date, but it'll get you pretty close. If you want to check out the character builder, you just pick your character. To get the accurate number of points that you will have, make sure you set it to level 50. And then for bonus points, you auto train 77 points. So 50 plus level 50 plus 77 bonus points will get you the max skill points that you can spend, and that'll give you the most accurate overlook or plan for your character builder. Another quick tip. If you're playing an assassin class that uses poisons, you can cast or throw a weapon and still apply poisons while you're casting. If you forget to poison your weapons when you're trying to throw an item, do the crossbow, cast a spell, you can poison before the attack goes through. At the Red Wolfhound, in casting, I apply poison. Both my weapons. So again, you can apply poisons while you are casting, shooting a crossbow, or throwing an axe. If you're out of power and you can't cast a spell, you can use quick cast to bypass the mana cost and cast your spell once and then you're out of power. In emergency situations, you can use quick cast to fire off a spell that you otherwise couldn't. If you're in a group and you have a class that can cast a damage add, damage shield, power regeneration, or any other buff that is a timed buff without a concentration cost, you can target yourself, cast it on yourself, and that spell will hit everyone in the group, including any controlled pets.